So hi guys, welcome to another reading. Um, this reading, look at this beautiful, wonderful light. <laughs> so this reading, I want to do um, as a help again for making a decision in your life, okay? Because I know that some of you really struggle to make a decision and so I want to help you here with this reading. Um, we're going to do it like this. I choose, or I ask the universe to choose from the language of flowers. Um, let's do four cards, okay? So for a signifiers for you to choose which pile. Then I'm going to ask the universe, should you take the offer or not take the offer? Then I have a yes and a no here. I will put those things on each pile and then we will see what happens when you take the offer, when you not take the offer, okay? Why am I doing this? Because I interpret, interpret this deck with all the um, death cards in there more negative than this deck, okay? So because sometimes it could be you take the offer, you know, there's a yes, you take it and maybe it's not a nice offer, you know? So we'll see. That's why I want to do it this way. So universe, please give me four signifiers, four flowers for my followers to choose from. Okay, there you go. We have two burrows. Desire, be certain of where you place your passion. That's part one, okay. Can you see all those cards? I make it a little bit lighter so you can choose. Tuba Rose, it's the first one. Okay, the second one is Orange Blossom Enthusiasm. The best can be here, believe it. Pile two. Pile three, Camellia. Peace, be calm and calm will come. And path four for today's reading is heart sees compassion. Tread a little more tender tenderly. So those are the four piles for today. So you make your choice now. And then we're gonna start the reading. So hi Pam one, we're starting with the tuberose, which is called the sire. Be certain of where you place your passion. So let's see. Should you take that offer or not? Okay, universe, which is this pile? Give me a card. <clears throat> Yeah, I feel it this, this way. Okay, should you take that offer? We'll see what this deck is. Okay, if you take the offer, yes. And if you don't take the offer. Okay, let's see what will happen if you take the offer. What happens if you take the offer? What happens if Pi 1 takes the offer? And I'm gonna draw three cards. We have the Ten of Swords. Yeah, that's what I thought. That's why you know those cards. The King of Cups. The Page of Wands. It seems like it's a love offer. It seems your question was related to love. So let's see what you, if you're not taking the offer. What happens if pal one is not taking the offer? The five of pentacles. 
the Ace of uh, the Eight of Wands and the Magician. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I thought so because of desire, you know, be certain of where you place your passion. So um, that's exactly what I thought because um, you know I told you at the beginning I wanna um, read this pile a little bit more negative because um, of the card images you know those are all in this tarot deck what's it called I write it under the um, under the tr uh, yeah in the description box because this is Taromucha gosh I don't remember which card deck this is okay let's start if you would take the offer you know we have here the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is an ending. You know, you see this moth of death here. Um, there will be a cycle ending for you, okay? That means um, there will be a completion, okay? So if you take the offer, there will be a completion of your old life and you will start a new life. That's what it means. Um, the King of Cups you know, usually in tarot is a very nice card because the King of Cups means um, it could represent a water sign. So this could be your energy, you know, but I rather see this here as the other person's energy because, yeah, it really feels for me like this, that this is the other person's energy. Um, you see here that this King of Cups appears to me a very selfish one. He's drinking the cup. Usually the, the cup is offered in tarot, you know. But here in this case, I mean, it's a skeleton drinking a cup. So for me, this means that this person is very selfish and egocentric. Whoever made you an offer, that's why it says, um, be certain of where you place your passion. It's like a very one-way street. That means <clears throat> you finish a cycle in your life <coughs> and begin a new one. But it seems like this person is taking all your love and not really giving back. That's what I'm seeing. This person could be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. What I also see here is um, that they are playful and they are happy that they made it. You know, it's like I see here like a childish energy, you know. And I told you I want to interpret this deck a little bit negative. I can also interpret these cards as beautiful, you know. But in this case, no. Um, it seems for me, if you take the offer, that person would be happy. But they're like, maybe they don't even notice that, you know. Some people don't even notice that they are very selfish in a relationship. It doesn't have to be that this is a major, um, a major manipulator, you know. But it seems for me, once you've taken that offer... That person is drinking their cup they, they, they should give you they are drinking you know this is a very childish energy here the king of cups they come across as very emotional mature they can hide their feelings because the king of cups knows exactly how to control his feelings so for me this looks like um as this guy whoever made you this offer can really control their feelings so that's why you think this offer is um, serious, but inside of them, they're like just like a child, um, you know, they're not ready to um, have a connection that is very serious, you know, they're more playful. This is more like the F-boy type, what I'm seeing here, you know, okay? So what would happen if you not take the offer? Well, at first I see that at first you will feel it was not a good thing you know at first you you will feel abandoned because that person would leave i think this is a very controlling person so when you tell them a no they leave you know and you will feel like being left out in the cold you know look at this woman like a beggar you know you would feel like oh my gosh what did i do um and maybe that i did not the right thing that's how it should feel the same as here um, the moth is here, so it's meaning you flew towards the light and you completed a cycle. You know, here, if you take the offer, it feels more good at the beginning, but it turns out at the end, no, it was the wrong decision. Um, here, 
it starts like, oh my gosh, maybe I did the wrong decision. But then, you know, there's like all these wants coming at you. It could be that this person is mm, maybe attacking you later on because you didn't take their offer. But I rather feel here that there are more, more possibilities coming in your life. So this person could be like a test, you know, um, if you take the offer or not. And once you say no to them, um, like all... You know, there are like eight different people coming into your life. You know, there are like more offers, more than you expected are coming your way. Okay. And you can choose which one you want. You know, you're the magician. This is the most beautiful card because you can manifest whatever you want. It could also mean that once you, if you don't take the offer, it feels at first because you're then single. It feels like, oh gosh, you know, I'm all alone. What did I do? I'm abandoned. But then all these possibilities come. This could, it doesn't have to be in love. It could also be in, at a workplace, you know, and you can, you can make your dreams come true because all these things happen at once. This is really fast coming in. You know, once you get over this feeling of feeling abandoned, this is coming in really fast. But I don't want to tell you which decision to make. This is just, um, like, uh, if you resonate with that, just um, like a help, you know. So let's get some charms. Yeah, look at this. We have heart here and comfort. Yeah, I think your heart wants to be comforted. That's why, you know, you would love to take the offer. You know, you would love to take it. We have sure. Um, <clears throat> but you're not, you're not really sure, you know. We have the microphone here. The key. Okay, what are the letters? Let's look at the letters first. We have an N, a K, and a Q, okay? You can't really see it, but they are so small. It could be an N or a Z. A K and a Q, you know. What is this cute heart here? Oh, that's the world. See, for me that means like, um, and with the heart being here, you know, I think you really long for connection. You really long, um, your heart really longs for someone. And um, because you want, you want that comfort again of being in a relationship, you know, maybe that person that's coming in is very comfortable for you. Maybe um, uh, they make you feel very sure because they are the king of cups. That resonates with this card, you know, because um, they know exactly what they are talking about. They're very sure of themselves. We can see this here and maybe they're also very good looking. You know, this person is very good looking. That's why the... Um, the clothing hanger is here. We have the bicycle. So I think that means um, either that they um, they love to go by bicycle or it could mean that um, you should go away. You should <laughs> you should drive away. And they're really interested. There's some kind of something with music here. So maybe you are a singer or they are a singer. But someone does music here, you know. It could also mean that if you find comfort in music, in our boys music, then you should find comfort in there, you know, here, especially when you don't take the offer and you feel left out in the cold, you should find, um, you should find comfort in the music of our boys. And the deer is make a wise decision, you know, always think about making the decision and go ways that are not tread before by you you know the deer goes unconventional things the deer goes unconventional ways and this is the key you have the key in your hand that means whatever you decide you know it's fine you you can decide whatever you know the universe is saying the key is in your hands you need to decide okay guys i hope i could help you with this reading and I'm saying bye. Okay, guys, next pile up is Orange Blossom. It's called Enthusiasm. The best can be here, believe it. So if you chose that pile, let's see. Should you take that offer? That offer can be anything, you know? Should you do that or not is the question. And that offer can be anything. It can be a job, a person, 
A Soul Connection. So. Let's see. This is, okay, this is again the yes pile. This is again the no pile. Okay. That's very interesting because I said I want to interpret this more negatively than this one. So we'll see however this works. So let's start with yes. What happens if pile two takes the offer? What happens if pile two takes the offer? Again, we have the page of wands. We have the <clears throat> Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Ace of Swords. So what happens if you don't take the offer? What happens if pile 2 doesn't take the offer? <clears throat> and I just want to, um, I don't want to take what falls out, you know. We have the Six of Swords. Oh wow, the Ace of Coins and the Queen of Cups. That's why also those cards are like really different though. Okay. Well, let's start here with if you don't take the offer. Whatever offer this is, you know. Whatever decision you have to take, if you don't do it. It says enthusiasm, the best can be here, believe it. That means you're trying to manifest something that is not there and um, you're having a hard time believing it. You know, you're having a hard time believing in that because what you want to manifest is not here yet. So there will, like there was an offer now or a decision or you had to make, okay? And um, what if you don't, you know, if you, if you don't have a decision to make, ask yourself a question and then answer it with yes or no. Um, if you don't take the offer or you don't do it, whatever this is, um, you will move. You know, there is movement there. You will move, maybe not even realize it. You will move into calmer water. The Six of Swords is a kind of movement, especially in the, the air energy, in the thoughts energy. That means that your thoughts will change about th this thing and it will change towards bringing it into reality to actually manifesting it because now your thoughts are like, oh my gosh, you know, will this ever come true? If you don't do take the offer or you don't do it, whatever you ask yourself, you know, if you don't do it, then you actually move towards manifesting whatever it is that you want, you know, because this is a, a gift from the universe. It could have to do with money, you know, this is like a present, this is like a gift, this is like money coming in, but you're moving towards this. So if you don't take the offer or you don't do it, you're like moving towards manifesting it and you will be very happy, you know, look at the queen on her throne. Um, she's holding her cup of high. This is self-love. This is knowing you can do all the things you you imagine. You can accomplish things. You can bring things down to earth. That means you can manifest it and at the end you will be very happy. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, but it doesn't have to be. The, the Queen of Cups just means that, you know, this is victory for me. This is victory in actually manifesting it and also believing it. So if you don't do it, you will get especially to a point where you will be very happy and very much loving yourself, okay? If you take the offer, if you say yes, whatever you questioned, you know, if the answer is yes, whatever question you had, 
Um, there will be a message coming in. Okay, I see here that um, ooh, that there will be a message coming in that was long overdue. Yeah, this is a message coming in, a message, you see how he's holding the scroll? Um, this is a message, a very playful message, a very, yeah, just a message of passion. Someone will write you um, a very playful message. And this message was long overdue. You've waited on this message. And this message will give you the truth. That's basically what it's saying. It doesn't tell me if it's a good truth or a bad truth. <laughs> but this is the truth. You will see the truth then. You will know everything. Okay. So basically, if you take the offer, you will get a message that you've been waiting on for long and you know the truth then. If you don't take the offer, you move towards manifesting um, a new start. This could also, if you were talking about um, maybe an ex or something, you know, and you're, you're waiting or your question was, I just want to do an example. Maybe you're waiting on an ex and your question was, should I message him? And there is a yes, so he will message you back and you know the truth. If you don't message him, you know, you will move towards a new start that makes you more happy. You know what I mean? This is like how you see it. So please look at what is your question. And those are the possibilities. Okay, let's get some charms, guys. Maybe that also helps always in deciding. Let's see if the camera is working. <coughs> Give me charms, universe. Okay, so we have a J here. We have a D here. We have a W and we have PH. They are together. So maybe you're from the Philippines. Because we have a PH in the same color stuck together. PH. That could also be like a physician's name, right? Isn't it a physician? A doctor's? Yeah, here it's make a wise decision. The owl is um, being very wise. The owl is also... Um, that sometimes we don't know the answer, you know, and the knowledge is coming. This is like the knowledge. What is this here? <laughs> it looks like a child. This is for me like a new beginning. Is this an angel or not? So take it like a child. Yeah, that's a child. Then, but we have the angel wings twice. So I feel that you are highly protected. You are highly protected. And we have the star with the fairy on it. That's so beautiful. So that tells me, you know, here this resonates with, with this new star here because it almost has the same shape, you know, that um, there is so much more than you think there is possible. You know, the star, this is what you want to reach, you know. This is like the best can be here. Believe it. Believe in that. The universe is helping you. The plane. So um, this is about traveling. So maybe your question has something to do with travel. Um, we have the dollar. So this maybe your question has something to do with money. Those are for the same for the people. You know, they are like... You guys are many people. This is a general reading. So your question could be about money, about travel, um, about a child, you know. But just know that you are protected and the star, you know, you will get to where you want. And the gecko here is for me the fire, the passion for something, okay. And we have a J again and a D for letters. DJ. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's something. DJ maybe that's a name okay guys so that's all what I'm having please look at the charms maybe something has a meaning for you then you know yes this is the reading for you the charms are usually more so if you can look if the reading is yours or not you know so that's all what I'm having bye guys so hi part three welcome to your reading you chose camellia peace become and calm will come so 
I think this is a decision that you have to make that's um, making you crazy. You think about it a lot, you know, and you don't know how to answer that. So what I want you to, what I want you to see is, or what I want you to do now is think of a question you want to ask the uni or there, well, where there is a yes or no answer, you know, because it's very hard to ask tarot or yes or no answer. So please do that. Please go inside of yourself and ask yourself a yes or no answer. <coughs> and then we're going to see the um, what tarot is suggesting. So here, what happens if you um, say no, you know, what happens if you say yes? So whatever question this is, I told you at the beginning, um, I'm going to answer this tarot deck. I'm going to interpret more negatively because the of the images on the cards. So what would happen like if you say no to the offer or to your question? <coughs> We have the hanged man. So what happens if you don't take the offer, you know? We have the wheel of fortune. And we have the eight of cups. So what happens if you take the offer? If you say yes to your question. And this can be any question, guys. Any yes or no question you have asked. What happens if the answer is yes, if you take the offer? Whatever offer this is, you know, this could be a job offer. This could be um, a soulmate offer. This could be in, in um, yeah, thinking of your soulmate. So um, here I see we start first with if you don't take the offer. Um, you know, there will be an epiphany. The hanged man is always um, a card where the universe will give you um, an epiphany. You will see things differently than you did before. So if you don't do that or don't take the offer, um, you know, you will realize soon after that you missed a chance. That's what I'm seeing here, you know, that this was, um, <clears throat> become and come will come. Um, maybe it was um, an offer in disguise and you didn't see that, but once, you know, you made the decision and you decided no you will see it from a different angle it tells me here you will see it from a different angle and you would wish you could turn back the time because the wheel of fortune is like the wheel of timing also that always goes forward and you wish you could rewind the wheel to make your decision again okay You wish you could do that because, um, yeah, this means um, you're very sad about this. The Eight of Cups is you're thinking, you're contemplating about this and um, you walk, it feels like you walk away from the whole situation or you need to go away from that situation. You need to take yourself out of this because it, it will give you too much. Um, thinking about this yeah so i see if you don't take the offer if you don't do that it's like like something will bring you peace here if you don't take the offer it it seems like um you wish you you could turn back time um because you walked away from something that was 
bringing you peace maybe and you haven't even seen it you know this is also like the widow card for me you know the, the card of man why did i do it you know why didn't i take this offer why didn't i say yes to that that's how you will feel okay if you say no if you say yes you know it's a 50 50 chance at the beginning you will feel like oh my gosh maybe that was not a good choice because in the feelings you will be juggling a lot and it could also be if you're asking should i take on another job because instead you know you wish to have peace of mind maybe you're thinking about this a lot and maybe this means doing two jobs this could also be if you're doing it you know if you say yes to the offer and you're taking it or you say yes to your question it will feel at the beginning that it's very turbulent and very overwhelming because you have to do too much at once it will not feel peaceful while here it may feel peaceful at once yeah because the hanged man means hanging there, just relaxing. It will feel peaceful. But at the end, you will be sad that you haven't taken the offer because um, you missed out on a chance. Here, it will feel very stressful at the beginning. But then you will realize, you know, you don't see this coming. This is the moon card. You don't see it coming. It's like, it's like hidden from you, but it will be your wish fulfillment. You will be very emotional fulfilled, you know, this is the, the happy card, but it is hidden. It's not, it's the universe is showing you um, this burdening of having two options and maybe being second place or working too much, juggling a lot, because um, this will be very juggling, very um, much not peaceful. But at the end, it will make you peaceful because it will give you your wish fulfillment here it's at the beginning it's like more peaceful but then the wheel will turn and you will feel in this space of oh my gosh i should have done it you know okay so let's get your charms ready guys so the charms are always to see if this resonates with you because um give me some charms you know, the charms are always to see if it resonates with you, if this is your reading, you know, because there are so many on my channel. So we have a W, we have the little swans, so that's for a life partner. You know, you could ask if you should do it for love and we have the little swans here, so maybe this means something to you. Or we have the W twice. Maybe it's about the internet, World Wide Web or something. We have the five, yeah change the five is change change is coming we have a f v w w f that's a german cooking brand isn't it v v v f isn't that a german cooking brand <laughs> so we have the bird that's about freedom flying being free you know being free to choose the dragon being strong so maybe you're born in the year of the dragon and um, this is another fire gecko so it's about a passion you know you you are very passionate about something this is about a workplace if we have the anchor here so you could ask about doing two jobs maybe what i said and there's something about music here so maybe you're asking if you should do your um, hobby as a job you know something like that and um, the divine timing clock it's it's ready you know it's it's divine timing it's it's ready to you're ready to do it so oh my gosh yes yeah like for happiness this tells me yes for happiness like is for me a yes if you like a tweet for example you like it you say yes so this tells me again like for happiness because it's divine timing mm. yeah and it will bring you to your love it will emotional fulfill you. It, you have to be strong here with, um, you know, juggling everything at once. And it could be related to um, your stability. Okay, guys. So that's all what I'm having for my pile three. Bye, guys. So hi, everyone. Choosing pile four. You chose the heart seas. Compassion. Tread a little more tenderly. 
Viola Tricolor is the name of the... That's cute. Viola is purple. Maybe your name is Viola. Viola Tricolor. <laughs> so make your decision, guys. Um, ask yourself a question or simply... Um, you know, if you clicked on the video, you know what offer. You've gotten an offer recently. You don't know if you should take it. This offer could be in love, in job, in, in education, in anything. So... Um, I place the yes and no cards on there. So yes or no, if you should take the offer, what happens? I interpret this deck more negatively than this one because simply of the, um, of the images in the cards. So should you take that offer? Okay, what, what happens if you don't take it? What happens if you take it? So let's see. What happens if you don't take the offer? Pile 4 universe. What happens if they don't take the offer? Pile 4. So we have the Hierophant. The Three of Cups. And the Page of Pentacles. What happens if you take the offer? Oh, well, let's just take it. Let's just take it. So let's see, it's about dread a little more tenderly, about compassion. I have to look. Well, I wanted to interpret this card deck more positively than this one. So that means for me, if you take the offer, um, you will feel victorious. You know, you will feel very victorious. Victory will come your way. Um, people will look at you. You will be in the public eye. Um, yeah, people will cheer you on. So if you do that, whatever you asked, if you if you do that, um, it could also mean that someone else will come and free you. Or this cheering you on will free you mentally. Because this is a mentally prison. It's a prison you put yourself in, in saying, I can't do it. I'm not good enough. You know, this will, if you take the offer, um, you will have help of so many people here. They will cheer you on so that it will free you from this prison of saying you're not good enough. You know, this will help you come out of this state of saying you are not good enough. And I see here you walking you know, the Knight of Pentacles, it will be very slow. It will be a very slow progression, you know, and um, you have something to offer to the world then, you know, whatever you're asking, it will be a very slow process. Yes, but this decision in the beginning will make you victorious, you know, it will make you, f it's like a boost of confidence, you know, and it will, it will take you out of this mental prison of saying, I'm not good enough. And then, you know, you will bring this into reality, but it will take a while. It's a, you know, the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest moving knight. It's very, um, yeah, it's like this guy is, is almost walking, you know, this, this, his horse is like very, very slow. But, um, you know, you will bring your gift to the world. It will take a while and you will have to continually work on that. But it will take you out of this mental prison of yours of saying you're not good enough you know you will be successful with it and um yeah you will you know you will focus on your pentacle you will make money of it um whatever this is a yes means that you are moving and you are moving faster 
than if you do a no. So if you are a no, you will be in a commitment if you don't take it. This could be, oh, what is he doing? He's using a Kira, Kisha board, how is that called? Oh, I haven't seen that card. That's negative because I don't like it. I don't like speaking to ghosts. Ha. So this, no, this is negative. Yes, I said I wanted to interpret these cards negative and I'm, I'm just looking there and um, this is a negative commitment. So if you don't take the offer, you will stay in this negative commitment. There's some kind of commitment here. Um, maybe this brings you out of there. You know, whatever this, this decision is you have to face, you are in some kind of contract or commitment. And if you don't take the offer, you're staying in this and this commitment or this contract will bring you nothing but ghosts from your past. This feels not nice because I don't like this. I'm a light worker. I'm not a, like a, not a dark worker. <laughs> so I don't like you, like if people use those um, boards. Um, yeah, it's like, Whatever this thing it 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 helps you coming out of this contract. This contract seems for me dead. This contract is bringing you nowhere. It seems like you're in some kind of contract where someone else is partying all the time. Is this a marriage? It also feels for me like you are married to someone that's like in a third party situation that celebrates a lot and has a lot of fun with other people and but basically is putting his money in his own bag. I don't see it as your energy. I see this as your energy taking the pentacle away with you. You know what I mean? That's if you take that offer, you take the money with you and, and you, you know, you fulfill yourself. While here, these negative cards, it's like you are in a commitment with another person or in a contract where other people celebrate and put the money in instead of you. This is what I'm seeing. And if you don't take this offer or if you say no to your yes or no question, it will make them other people more happy. Like if this is about a job, this is a contract that's bringing you nowhere because other people are more happy than you because they're shuffling the money in their own bags. That's what I'm seeing. What is this? It could also be one person. It looks like a boss person, a boss that's um, like, if, if this is a, about a job, this is like um, someone in the hierarchy m more up than you, but this person is preventing you from you raising in the hierarchy and you getting what you, what you earn, what you deserve. It's like this person is taking the money and celebrating and you mi might not even know this. So it feels for me that whatever this offer is, whatever this yes is, if you do it, if the answer to your question is yet, you will get out of there. Whatever this is, this is not nice. Okay. This is like keeping you stuck. It's like someone else is shoveling all your love in his own bag and is having a third party situation. And you should have maybe a little bit compassion with your heart and with yourself and get out of there. Because yeah, it, it, you are stuck in some kind of commitment here where someone else is partying in a third party situation other than you. <clears throat> See, if you're, I just want to make an example because I think it was examples, it's always good to understand. For example, if you are asking about one of our boys, just doing that example, you know, and you're asking if you should stay and wait for them here the answer would be no because you're stuck in a commitment um with a hierophant this is the one that's not even in your life because that's why his he's doing a hija board you know he's dead you know he's not in it's a commitment where the other person is not in your life that the other person is is celebrating in a third party situation that doesn't mean that they do that but it means that you know there are other things involved that this person cannot be with you and this means the army card also you know so you know this means that this person is not in your life 
because they are committed to army they are committed to their job and um you know they go away with your money <laughs> and we love to give them our money you know if this is a situation where you're asking about one of our boys that's fine you know but it means like no don't wait for them just move on because then you will offer yourself and you will be victorious you know okay you have to decide guys i can do this decision for you i can just tell you what the tarot is saying so now i'm going to get charms in order for you to see if this reading resonates with you or not okay we have in oh gosh we have three words we have in we have fill in your fill <laughs> your fill <laughs> I just <laughs> I just thought of all these 18 plus stands on my Twitter. They would write something like that, right? Fill in your mm mm mm. <laughs> Doors are like those 18 plus BTS stands. <laughs> okay, we have a V. That's this, you know, the hierophant, the commitment you're in. Which is not really fulfilling you. That's the kick, kick, kick. It's the, the laughing sound in Korean. I'm just saying what I'm seeing. We have P E as names S and U. U S. So maybe you're from the United States. What do we have here? What's this? A K. Okay. So K P E F V U S are the initials. So let's see what we have here. We have O and Owl. Okay, so make a wise decision, you know. This is all, this decision is all there to make you gain wisdom. You know, the Owl is there to make you gain wisdom. Oh my gosh, look at this. There's a peace sign. That reminds me of this guy. <laughs> the V and the peace sign, that's this guy. This is the commitment you're in. And it's better to get out of there. It's what I'm, yeah, look at this chariot. Maybe you are Cancer. So the chariot represents Cancer. Um, it means get out of there. Fast. Fast. Yeah. Another sign of movement. And um, this also means that you are on the steering wheel. You decide what you do. You can remain or you can go. You know, this is your decision. No one can make that decision for you. And this is fill in. Look at this. Ah, with my nails. It's... <laughs> Well, you see that this is fill in your wine. <laughs> That's exactly what this card is saying. Look at this. That's the, the celebrating card. The fill in, fill in the cups, um, the cup of love, you know. Fill in your love for me. I leave with your money. <laughs> I love this. This, uh, this has so many meanings on different levels. I just thought <laughs> this reading is so funny. Like, um, you know, this could mean that if you are in a poisoned connection, guys, in a, in a marriage or in a relationship, that means that relationship is not serving you at all. You should get out because that you fill in their cup because you are so compassionate, you know. The, the, you chose this card. It's about compassion. You are such a compassionate person. I really think you're cancer. That um, you fill their cup of whoever this is you're in the commitment with. You feel yourself married to this person. Or you are married to this person. Or you are in a connection where you only see this guy. And um, this guy is filling his cups with other people. And um, running away with everything he can get. It doesn't have to be money. But it means that he's collecting all the people in his bag. And look at this bag it's a dead bag and running away with it it's like that's like someone not nice to be with so you're kind of stuck in this situation what i'm seeing and you're filling their cup over and over you're celebrating you're not even seeing that this person's not only celebrating with you you know if this is about a connection where you are in like a real life connection a real 3d connection and if it's a soul connection, well, then you feel committed to that person. But there is still some third party that's preventing that to come forward. It doesn't have to be that negative, as I said. But it's um, right now, it's not possible for this person to come forward because they have to grow up and they have to fill their own 
you know, they, they are learning. The Page of Pentacles is always a student. They are a student of life. They are a student of, you know, you have to see it in, in your way, in whatever your situation is. If you are in a marriage where this guy is celebrating with other women, yeah, right, you know, then this guy is filling his own bags and not caring about you and you are too compassionate for that person and it's time for you to go. If this is about um, a soul connection, then there's a third party preventing your person to come forward because they have to grow up, they have to learn, you know, and it's time for you to fill your own cup and leave and, and also grow up, you know, the, and bring your gift to the world, okay? Just to make sure whatever this could mean, you know, it, it depends on your question that you ask this tarot here. Okay, guys, that's all what I'm having. Bye.